Diane, what do you think should happen in the future to make the women's game even stronger? Yeah, you know, I think keep resourcing the Matildas. We've got to look at that elite program and, and resourcing it appropriately like we're doing now. And then you look at the underpinning programs, the Future Matildas program, which um, Leah Blaney is doing a fantastic job. You look at Cooney Cross has come from that program and now she's a world-class player. Um, and I still believe that we need to look after the grassroots of our game. They're the, the boys and the girls that are coming to the games and their families are the ones that are supporting the Matildas. So I think we've still got a, a, a lot to do in that space. Uh, but we've got some good people in the game. We've got some strong advocates in, on the board of Football Australia who are really pushing for the game. They've played the game so they know what it takes um, and, and keep filtering that those resources into the A-League women. So I think we'll, you know, we'll reap those rewards in years to come. That's what they've done in England. Um, and look what England have done. They've won Euros and, you know, they've played in a World Cup final and they've got such a strong league there. So I, I think if we continue to do that, we'll be on the right path. And no doubt, as you said, the Matildas have set that pathway and uh, the eyes of the nation have been on that squad the last few weeks. It's been phenomenal. Before we let you go, Diane, Spain, of course, uh, the winners overall. Did you manage to watch the match last night? Yeah, I did. What a fantastic final. It, was, it just had everything. And, you know, I think the best team won on the day. The, the Spanish team is amazing. And, you know, they've now won the 17s, the 20s and the Senior World Cup. So... Um, they'll be the ones to watch in years to come. But, um, yeah, hats off to both teams. They're just two phenomenal teams that, you know, I definitely think those the best two teams in the world played in that final last night. And, and I, you know, 75,000 packed out to watch that, that game. So, again, the Australian public getting behind not just only the Matildas but all of, all of women's football. So it was just so fantastic to see. Yeah, it's almost sad it's all come to an end so quickly. It's been a terrific few weeks, not just for the Matildas, but for Australia in general. Diane Alligage, lovely to speak with you. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much.